The Mahabodhi Temple, literally, Great Awakening Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is an ancient, but much rebuilt and restored, Buddhist temple in Bodh Gaya, marking the location where the Buddha is said to have attained enlightenment. Bodh Gaya in Gaya district is about 96 kilometers 60 miles from Patna, Bihar state, India. The site contains a descendant of the Bodhi tree under which Buddha gained enlightenment, and has been a major pilgrimage destination for Buddhists for well over 2,000 years, and some elements probably date to the period of Ashoka died c. BCE. What is now visible on the ground essentially dates from the 7th century CE, or perhaps somewhat earlier, as well as several major restorations since the 19th century. But the structure now may well incorporate large parts of earlier work, possibly from the 2nd or 3rd century CE. Many of the oldest sculptural elements have been moved to the museum beside the temple, and some, such as the carved stone railing wall around the main structure, have been replaced by replicas. The main temple's survival is especially impressive, as it was mostly made of brick covered with stucco, materials that are much less durable than stone. But this means that very little of the original sculptural decoration has survived. The temple complex includes two large straight sided shikara towers, the largest over 55 meters 180 feet high. This is a stylistic feature that has continued in Jain and Hindu temples to the present day, and influenced Buddhist architecture in other countries, in forms like the pagoda. The Buddha Traditional accounts say that, around 589 BCE, Siddhartha Gautama, a young prince who saw the suffering of the world and wanted to end it, reached the forested banks of the Falgu River, near the city of Gaya, India. There he sat in meditation under a peepul tree Ficus religiosa or sacred fig which later became known as the Bodhi tree. According to Buddhist scriptures, after three days and three nights, Siddhartha attained enlightenment and the answers that he had sought. In that location, Mahabodhi Temple was built by Emperor Ashoka in around 260 BCE. The Buddha then spent the succeeding seven weeks at seven different spots in the vicinity meditating and considering his experience. Several specific places at the current Mahabodhi Temple relate to the tradition surrounding these seven weeks. The first week was spent under the Bodhi tree. During the second week, the Buddha remained standing and stared, uninterrupted, at the Bodhi tree. This spot is marked by the Animeshlocha stupa, that is, the unblinking stupa or shrine, to the northeast of the Mahabodhi temple complex. There stands a statue of Buddha with his eyes fixed towards the Bodhi tree. The Buddha is said to have walked back and forth between the location of the Animeshlocha stupa and the Bodhi tree. According to legend, lotus flowers sprung up along this route, it is now called Ratnachakrama or the Jewel Walk. He spent the fourth week near Ritnagar Chaitya, to the northeast side. During the fifth week, Buddha answered in details to the queries of Brahmins under the Ajapala Nigod tree, now marked by a pillar. He spent the sixth week next to the lotus pond. He spent the seventh week under the Rajyatna tree. Mahabodhi tree The Bodhi tree at Bodhgaya is directly connected to the life of the historical Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama, who attained enlightenment or perfect insight when he was meditating under it. The temple was built directly to the east of the Bodhi tree, supposedly a direct descendant of the original Bodhi tree. According to Buddhist mythology, if no Bodhi tree grows at the site, the ground around the Bodhi tree is devoid of all plants for a distance of one royal carissa. Through the ground around the Bodhi tree no being, not even an elephant, can travel. According to the Jatakas, the navel of the earth lies at this spot, and no other place can support the weight of the Buddha's attainment. Another Buddhist tradition claims that when the world is destroyed at the end of a kalpa, the Bodhimanda is the last spot to disappear, and will be the first to appear when the world emerges into existence again. Tradition also claims that a lotus will bloom there, and if a Buddha is born during that the new kalpa, the lotus flowers in accordance with the number of Buddhas expected to arise. According to legend, in the case of Gautama Buddha, a Bodhi tree sprang up on the day he was born. <laughs> Topic. Temple construction Topic. Mauryan establishment 
In approximately 250 BCE, about 200 years after the Buddha attained enlightenment, Buddhist Emperor Asoka visited Bodh Gaya in order to establish a monastery and shrine on the holy site, which have today disappeared. There remains, however, the diamond throne, which he had established at the foot of the Bodhi tree. The Diamond Throne, or Varasana, is thought to have been built by Emperor Ashoka of the Maurya Empire between 250–233 BCE, at the location where the Buddha reached enlightenment. It is worshipped today, and is the center of many festivities at the Mahabodhi Temple. Representations of the early temple structure meant to protect the Bodhi tree are found at Sanchi, on the Toranas of Stupa I, dating from around 25 BCE, and on a relief carving from the Stupa railing at Barhat, from the early Shunga period c. 185 c. 73 BCE. <laughs> Sangha structures <laughs> <laughs> Columns with pot-shaped bases Additional structures were brought in by the sun gas. In particular, columns with pot-shaped bases were found around the diamond throne. These columns are thought to date to the 1st century BCE, towards the end of the sun gas. These columns, which were found through archaeological research at the Buddha's walk in the Mahabodhi temple, quite precisely match the columns described on the reliefs found on the gateway pillars. Topic. Railings. The railing also around the Mahabodhi temple at Bodh Gaya is quite ancient. These are old sandstone posts dating about 150 BCE, during the Sangha period. There are carved panels as well as medallions, with many scenes similar to those of the contemporary Sangha railings at Barhat 150 BCE and Sanchi 115 BCE, although the reliefs at Sanchi Stupa No. 2 are often considered as the oldest of all. The railing was extended during the following century, down to the end of Gupta period 7th century, with coarse granite decorated with elaborate foliate ornaments and small figures as well as stupas. Many parts of the initial railing have been dismantled and are now in museums, such as the Indian Museum in Kolkata, and have been replaced by plaster copies. Topic. Current pyramidal temple While Asoka is considered the Mahabodhi temple's founder, the current pyramidal structure dates from the Gupta Empire, in the 5th-6th century CE, however this may represent a restoration of earlier work of the 2nd or 3rd century. A plaque from Kumrahar dated 150–200 CE, based on its dated Karoshthi inscriptions and combined finds of Huvishka coins, already shows the Mahabodhi temple in its current shape with a stepped truncated pyramid and a small hemispherical stupa with finals on top. This is confirmed by archaeological excavations in Bodh Gaya. It is thought that the temple in the shape of a truncated pyramid was derived from the design of the stepped stupas which had developed in Gandhara. The Mahabodhi temple adapted the Gandharan design of a succession of steps with niches containing Buddha images, alternating with Greco-Roman pillars, and topped by a stupa, as seen in the stupas of Jaulian. The structure is crowned by the shape of an hemispherical stupa topped by finials, forming a logical elongation of the stepped Gandharan stupas. This truncated pyramid design also marked the evolution from the aniconic stupa dedicated to the cult of relics, to the iconic temple with multiple images of the Buddha and Bodhisattvas. This design was very influential in the development of later Hindu temples. The Shakara Tower with an amalaka near the top is today considered more characteristic of Hindu temples. The temple was restored by the British and India post independence. Topic: <inaudible> Decline. Buddhism declined when the dynasties patronizing it declined, following Huna invasions and the early Arab Islamic invasions such as that of Muhammad bin Qasim. A strong revival occurred under the Pala Empire in the northeast of the subcontinent where the temple is situated. Mahayana Buddhism flourished under the Palas between the 8th and the 12th century. However, after the defeat of the Palas by the Hindu Sena dynasty, Buddhism's position again began to erode and became nearly extinct in India. During the 12th century CE, Bodh Gaya and the nearby regions were invaded by Muslim Turk armies. During this period, the Mahabodhi temple fell into disrepair and was largely abandoned. Over the following centuries, the monastery's abbot or mahant position became occupied by the area's primary landholder, who claimed ownership of the Mahabodhi temple grounds. 
In the 13th century, Burmese Buddhists built a temple with the same name and modeled on the original Mahabodhi temple. Topic: <laughs> Mukalinda Lake It is said that four weeks after the Buddha began meditating under the Bodhi tree, the heavens darkened for seven days, and a prodigious rain descended. However, the mighty king of serpents, Mukalinda, came from beneath the earth and protected with his hood the one who is the source of all protection. When the great storm had cleared, the serpent king assumed his human form, bowed before the Buddha, and returned in joy to his palace. The subject of Buddha meditating under the protection of Mukalinda is very common in Lao Buddhist art. One modern rendition is present in Bunlua Sulalat's sculpture park Sala Kyoku. Restoration During the 11th century and the 19th century, Burmese rulers undertook restoration of the temple complex and surrounding wall. In the 1880s, the then British colonial government of India began to restore Mahabodhi Temple under the direction of Sir Alexander Cunningham and Joseph David Begler. In 1885, Sir Edwin Arnold visited the site and under guidance from Ven. Welagama Sri Sumangala published several articles drawing the attention of the Buddhists to the deplorable conditions of Buddhagaya. Architectural style Mahabodhi Temple is constructed of brick and is one of the oldest brick structures to have survived in eastern India. It is considered to be a fine example of Indian brickwork, and was highly influential in the development of later architectural traditions. According to UNESCO, "...the present temple is one of the earliest and most imposing structures built entirely in brick from Gupta period." 300–600 CE. Mahabodhi Temple's central tower rises 55 meters 180 feet, and were heavily renovated in the 19th century. The central tower is surrounded by four smaller towers, constructed in the same style. The Mahabodhi Temple is surrounded on all four sides by stone railings, about two meters high. The railings reveal two distinct types, both in style as well as the materials used. The older ones, made of sandstone, date to about 150 BCE, and the others, constructed from unpolished coarse granite, are believed to be of the Gupta period. The older railings have scenes such as Lakshmi, the Hindu, Buddhist goddess of wealth, being bathed by elephants, and Surya, the Hindu sun god, riding a chariot drawn by four horses. The newer railings have figures of stupas reliquary shrines and garudas eagles. Images of lotus flowers also appear commonly. Images of the site include Avalokiteshvara, Padmapani, Kasarpana, Varapani, Tara, Marichi, Yamantaka, Jambala, and Vajravarahi. Images of Vishnu, Shiva, Surya, and other Vedic deities are also associated with the site. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Control of the site. In 1891, a campaign to return control of the temple to Buddhists, over the objections of the Hindu Mahant. The campaign was partially successful in 1949, when control passed from the Hindu Mahant to the state government of Bihar, which established a Bodh Gaya Temple Management Committee under the Bodh Gaya Temple Act of 1949. The committee has nine members, a majority of whom, including the chairman, must by law be Hindus. Mahabodhi's first head monk under the management committee was Anagarika Munindra, a Bengali man who had been an active member of the Maha Bodhi Society. In 2013, the Bihar government amended the Bodh Gaya Temple Act of 1949, allowing for a non-Hindu to head the temple committee. Topic. Current status and management The Bihar state government assumed responsibility for the protection, management, and monitoring of temple and its properties when India gained its independence. Pursuant to the Bodh Gaya Temple Act of 1949, such responsibilities are shared with the Bodhgaya Temple Management Committee, and an advisory board. By law, the committee must consist of four Buddhist and four Hindu representatives, including the head of Sankaracharya Math Monastery as an ex officio Hindu member. The committee serves for a three-year term. A 2013 amendment to Bodhgaya Temple Management Act allows the Gaya District Magistrate to be the chairman of committee, even if he is not Hindu. 
The advisory board consists of the Governor of Bihar and 20 to 25 other members, half of them from foreign Buddhist countries. In June 2002, the Mahabodhi Temple became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. All finds of religious artifacts in the area are legally protected under the Treasure Trove Act of 1878. The temple's head monk, Bhikkhu Bhattapala, resigned in 2007 after he was charged with cutting the branches of Holy Bodhi tree on a regular basis and selling them to foreigners for significant amounts of money. A newspaper alleged that wealthy Thai buyers bought a branch with the cooperation of senior members of the temple's management committee. While the temple's spokesman stated that botanists had pruned the tree, the Bihar Home Secretary ordered the tree examined. A criminal charge was filed against Bhattapala. If convicted, Bhattapala would be subject to at least 10 years imprisonment. Following the expiration of the committee's term in September 2007, Bihar's government delayed appointing a new committee and the district magistrate administered the temple pending such appointment. Eventually, on May 16, 2008 the government announced the appointment of a new temple management committee. As of June 2017, the temple's head monk was Bhikkhu Chalinda. Topic recent events In 2013, the upper portion of the temple was covered with gold of 289 kg. The gold was a gift from the King of Thailand and devotees from Thailand, and installed with the approval of the Archaeological Survey of India. Topic 2013 Attack On 7 July 2013, ten low-intensity bombs exploded in the temple complex, injuring five people. One bomb was near the statue of Buddha and another was near the Mahabodhi tree. Three unexploded bombs were also found and diffused. The blasts took place between 5.30 a.m. and 6 a.m. The main temple was undamaged. The Intelligence Bureau of India may have alerted state officials of possible threats around 15 days prior to the bombing. On 4 November 2013, the National Investigation Agency announced that the Islamic terrorist group Indian Mujahideen was responsible for the bombings. Topic see also Mahabodhi Temple is one of the most replicated Buddhist structures, both as temples and miniature replicas. Zhenju Temple, Beijing China Mahabodhi Temple, Bagan, Burma Wat Chet Yo, Chiang Mai, Thailand Thatta Thattaha Maha Bodhi Pagoda Topic Notes Topic References Harl, J.C., The Art and Architecture of the Indian Subcontinent, 2nd EDN. 1994, Yale University Press Pelican History of Art, ISBN 0300062176 Mitchell, George, The Penguin Guide to the Monuments of India, Volume 1, Buddhist, Jain, Hindu, 1989, Penguin Books, ISBN 0140081445 Topic Further reading Horner, I.B., Trans, 1975, reprinted 2000. The Minor Anthologies of the Pali Canon, Part 3, Chronicle of Buddhas and Basket of Conduct Karyapataka. Oxford, Pali Text Society. ISBN 0-86013-072-X. Doyle, Tara N. The 11th of September 2003. Liberate the Mahabodhi Temple. Socially Engaged Buddhism, Dalit Style. In, Stephen Heine, Charles Prebish eds, Buddhism in the Modern World. Oxford University Press. pp. 249-280. ISBN 0-19-514698-0. Kinnard, Jacob N. When is the Buddha not the Buddha? The Hindu, Buddhist Battle over Bodhgaya and its Buddha Image, Journal of the American Academy of Religion 66 4, 817-839 Knopf, Rainer 2000. Bodh Gaya, ein internationales Zentrum des Buddhismus in nicht buddhistischer Umgebung, Internationales Asienforum 31, 3 4, 289 314 NCERT. 2012. An Introduction to Indian Art. PDF. NCERT. ISBN 978 93 5007 187 8. Von Schroeder, Ulrich. 2001. Buddhist Sculptures in Tibet. Volume. 1, India and Nepal, Vol. 2, Tibet and China. Hong Kong, Visual Dharma Publications, Ltd. ISBN 962-7049-07-7.
Mahabodhi Temple, known to the Tibetans as Rdorjegdan Dorje Den Skt, Varasana, pp. 103, 212, 216, 219, 246, 320-351, 356, 360, 369, 395, 396, 677, 707, 708, 870, 1242, Fig. IV-1. Replicas of the Mahabodhi Temple in Tibet, pp. 321-351, figs. IV-25, pls. 111, 112, 113 AC, 113 DF, 114 AC, 114 DF, 115 AC, 115 DF. Topic. External links Land Enlightenment of the Buddha Mahabodhi Temple and attraction around it Bodhgaya News UNESCO World Heritage